Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Bonus Diva Chronicles Keto and I've got another delicious and amazing keto recipe for you. Chili is the perfect comfort food and it's pretty easy to do it in the Instant Pot. I'm going to go ahead and brown up the meat in another pan and then just throw everything together in the pot. But then once that's done, it's about 15 minutes or so, pressure cooked and you're ready to eat. So to get started with this simple recipe, I'll go ahead and chop up one small white onion. Then I'm going to go ahead and chop up two medium zucchini and set that aside. Then go ahead and chop one medium red bell pepper and set that aside. Then go ahead and turn on your Instant Pot and set it to saute. I then added about two tablespoons of Kerrygold salted butter to the Instant Pot. Go ahead and add half of that small chopped onion to the Instant Pot. Next I added about a third of a cup of pancetta. It's what I had left. Cube pancetta. Just added that to the Instant Pot along with some rosemary and thyme. Stir that up a bit followed by adding in the red bell peppers. Then go ahead and toss in the cubed zucchini. Mmm, it's starting to look delicious already. Then go ahead and give all the ingredients a good stir. I ran out of carry gold halfway through but I had some organic horizon butter. I just used that. Again, guys, use what you have. Your chili might not be exactly the same as mine. Use it as a template. Just use what you have. The Instant Pot was getting a little crowded, so I decided to go ahead and saute the ground beef along with the onions and in the butter in a separate pan. The beef was seasoned overnight with just some kosher salt, a little onion powder and garlic powder. At this stage though I go ahead and add a little bit more onion and garlic powder along with some oregano. Plus I add a little bit more kosher sea salt. Then add half of the container or three ounces of tomato paste to the skillet. Then we're going to go ahead and add one cup of crushed fire roasted tomatoes to the skillet. Then I added two tablespoons of taco sauce to the skillet. And you guys should know if I have anything to say about it, the food over on this channel must be well seasoned. So I go in ahead with some more garlic powder, a teaspoon of cumin, Then I added about one third of a teaspoon of habanero chili powder. If you want a mild chili, this is about a good place to be, but you can of course adjust to taste. It's all up to you. Then I added in some smoked paprika, about a half a teaspoon, just to give a little more depth to the flavor of the chili. Then I added about a teaspoon of onion powder to the mix. I then added some homemade beef bone broth to the pot. I've honestly been using this homemade bone broth in everything lately, whether it's a soup or a stew. 
It's useful in so many recipes and is just packed with minerals that we all need. Just look at that. We haven't even put it in for pressure cooking yet and it looks so delicious already. Once done, you can go ahead and top your chili with cheddar cheese, sour cream, chives, anything that you like and just enjoy. It's such a great comfort food and something that you can eat all throughout the week. I hope you guys make and enjoy this recipe and that this is useful for you guys during your meal prep for this week and beyond. And until next time, my divas, stay safe and be well.